Some new news came out recently. Bethesda has finally done what we've all been asking for and changed the mod limit. I get tons of comments about this every single day, but finally the day has come and oh wait, I'm sorry, you thought they increased the mod limit? No, Bethesda actually in their latest update to Skyrim Special Edition decreased their mod limit. This was done very sneakily and only actually discovered by people not being able to download mods anymore. They didn't put it in their patch notes or anything like that. Basically the scenario is this, Fallout 4 and Skyrim being on the the Gamebryo engine have a hard limit of 255 mods, that including the original game, so you could download 254 additional mods. This is just a flat out engine restriction, it's played PC players for a number of years, there are some different workarounds available on PC, not on Xbox One, but at the end of the day, 254 mods is quite a bit and many people don't even hit that limit. Well, for whatever reason, Bethesda decided to reduce that limit with the most recent update to Skyrim Special Edition coming out about a week ago at this point. The only avenue we officially got this news is through a tweet response from the Bethesda support Twitter. Basically, someone tweeted a picture at Bethesda saying, I can't download any mods, I have some free space, what's the deal? And in that image, they show they have a 160 megabyte still of free space, but it's saying the download limit is reached. Then Bethesda does respond, there is currently a cap on the amount of mods one can have. For the PS4, it is 100 and Xbox One is 150. So obviously, again, that is going to be a 100 less mods, or really 99 less mods than you could before this patch. And then on PS4, a 149 less mods. Since then, Bethesda has not talked about it at all, it hasn't been discussed anywhere except this Twitter response, and frankly, that's ridiculous. If you search on Bethesda.net right now for mod limit and actually go through all the threads, you could find hundreds of responses about people complaining and having to go now and delete some of their mods despite still having a ton of available space. Obviously, Skyrim Special Edition on Xbox One does have 5 gigabytes of free download space. Well, 5 gigabytes of free download space is great and all, but if you only could download 150 mods, you could realistically hit that pretty quickly. Now moving on to Fallout 4, many users have been clamoring for a new mod limit increase. The 2 gigabyte limit is just not nearly enough. Well, what's the new limit going to be? Are they going to give us 5 gigabytes of mod download storage, but only allow us to have 150 mods? A number of users did report that they contacted Microsoft support and they had no idea about this, so people are blaming Bethesda for it. I don't know if that's an official response. I wouldn't be surprised if a support agent didn't know what this was about. I don't actually know who's behind this, whether that being Bethesda or Microsoft. Regardless, again, I do think this is ridiculous. Yes, the title of this video is a bit of clickbait, but this is a serious problem and something that should be addressed immediately. Just a simple explanation would ease a number of people. And the real thing I think people should be paying attention to why this is kind of scary is, are you going to be playing Skyrim a few years down the road when there's a lot more mods available? There's still a ton of mods that haven't been ported over and you're going to now have to start making compromises as to which mods you want to download after you establish kind of a base load order that you want to play through your game with. Obviously, the game works fine without the mod limit because it's been out for a few months without it. Regardless, that's my opinion on the topic. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. I'm going to link Bethesda's two main Twitters in the description down below. I highly recommend you tweet at them just kind of inquiring about this. It makes some noise about this. I definitely will be tweeting them myself. And I think that's the best way to actually get a response. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all next time. Later.